Good morning, good evening, and good day. Thank you so much for watching Attack Power Gaming. Today, we continue our How to Play the Division series with the first pen, Cherna. If you guys enjoy this content, hit that like button, subscribe, and consider supporting over on Patreon. Thanks, let's dive right in. So here we are with first pen, Cherna. This division recently got a pretty significant buff to try to get it back on to par with the rest of the divisions in the game. Uh, it was really, really bad, and now I'd say it's just not that bad anymore. Uh, definitely not a division that's my style whatsoever. Um, you, you have, there's one way to play this deck and that's it. There's really no other way to play this division. It is one street and one street only. Uh, you're either playing at Maverick or Vanguard. It just kind of depends on when you want your points most. Uh, you cannot play this division balanced. You really can't. Um, it just does not have the infantry to go that long. Um, I like Maverick a little better. I think you just get more points in Maverick than than Vanguard overall. Um, I don't think Vanguard gives you enough push, personally, but Vanguard can definitely... For, for players who are used to playing Vanguard, it's def, it definitely can be played Vanguard. Uh, it goes either way. Um, its strengths, absolutely not its infantry. Uh, absolutely not its recon. Absolutely not its support. Uh, obviously its tank tab is pretty fantastic. One of, honestly, one of the better allied tank tabs in the game, uh, at this point with a couple buffs that came with it. The AT tab is serviceable. You don't really need it though. That's the awkward thing because your tanks can actually kill other tanks really well. Uh, your AA is good. Your AA can definitely get the job done AA wise. Your artillery tab is okay. Like it has some tools. They're, they're not amazing, but they're okay. Your, your air tab is very like one dimensional. But what it does, it does well, so I can't say it's bad, but it's definitely not anything incredible. Let's dive right in here with the recon tab. You can see this is definitely one of the smallest uh, recon tabs I have basically ever built with only 42 infantry. Uh, definitely not my wheelhouse at all. Uh, you basically have your choice between the Strelsi, which are a, a, a British rifle squad for all intents and purposes. Uh, you get a Strelsi Piat, which, and this was misbuilt. Uh, I had updated this, and for some reason it didn't, like, take the update should be that uh strelsey piot is basically the same unit uh, a, a better version because you get two brens and a piot instead of two stens so basically you lose the clo the little bit of close range power you get for a little bit better long range and some at uh piots are terrible i can't say it enough times they're not even terrible because they miss which they do and you'll see it in the game they miss all the time they're bad they're bad because they're just they're they're only 200 meter range and that is actually so different than 250 it's kind of crazy how big of a difference that 50 meters makes uh, if this was 50 more inches they're 250 they would be bearable they're still bad but bearable you have sapper z which is your like one squad of tnt units i'm bringing them in a you could definitely bring them in b but i'm bringing their other unit here and this is this is easily their best infantry unit, this uh, Inzianezi. Uh, it is a 4 stand, 6 rifle, a flamethrower, and a Bren. 12-man squad, very solid unit, 30 points. This this unit is good. You can bring it in a half-track, which you probably should. Uh, they only have this, the not-as-good half-track, but it's fine. You can deal with it. Um, the uh, Sapper Z also comes in this half track, which you, you really need these half tracks to help you out. Unfortunately, everyone else is coming in Bedfords, which are the 60 kilometer garbage cars. Just, it, it sucks. Uh, they have these Dragonies, which are 20.8 man squads with all the nice trappings of a Piat. I don't think they're worth it because your infantry already lose enough in infantry combat and you're not, it, your problem is not tanks. So like, they don't, like having Piat's a is bad to start because they're piots but you need your infantry to be able to fight infantry so having a 10-man squad over an eight-man squad is a pretty big difference uh the bren squad might be worth it i i actually think this leader might be unnecessary i, I would probably take him out and throw in i don't know, probably just another squad of infantry like this just go like that um you can use your tank leaders to try to do your leadering for you um yeah that's probably a little bit better of a build of that infantry tab. And it also gets you up to 45 infantry instead of 42. So, whoa. -ho. Anyway, continuing on here. Uh, you get these Piat recon squad here. Just basically the five-man team of the Piat. I'm actually basically bringing this for the scout car with the 50 cal. Uh, this is the reason I'm bringing this squad. Uh, I don't expect this to actually kill Jack squat with that stupid Piat. The Cromwell is solid. So, they these recently got a buff all the way back up to the 63 kilometers an hour. And this is, actually makes them a lot more viable to use. Uh, their, their gun, 
it's, it's, ugh, it's really not great. It shoots pretty darn slow uh, and only has 90 millimeters of penetration. Their armor is in, but they are they do zip around pretty good now, which makes them nice to like put out fires and get around the map. So that they do a pretty good job for what they're for. You could bring the stewards instead of the infantry, but it is nice to have at least an infantry recon because troops are using these to fight, so they often die. Tank tab. This 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 is the reason to play the deck. Like this is the reason. You have your Cromwell fives, and they are like I said, I'm double vetting them, and they come in a pretty high availability now, and they zip around pretty good at eight rounds a minute. They're a little less embarrassing with 56% accuracy. They do have two machine guns, so they do an okay job supporting your infantry because they at least have the double machine gun. Bring a card in A and B. They have the Cromwell 7 with the thicker armor, and it may be worth bringing this, but it still can get penned by all the German medium armor and stuff. I mean, it becomes invulnerable to like T3476s and Shermans, and that might be worth it. But your regular Sherman is kind of almost invulnerable to Shermans and T70, T3476s. So it's like, what role is it really filling at the end of the day? Uh, it, it's 52 kilometers an hour, which is pretty okay, but the availability is so much lower. Uh, you're getting way less of them. So I'm just taking the Cromwell 5s. Continuing on, we have a Sherman 5 and then the Firefly 1C. These are pretty fantastic. Um, you get the 17-pounder on these things, but it also has HE shells. It's usual 17-pounder does not have. Um, yeah, excellent penetration. At the double vet with the 50% accuracy, pretty darn good with 8 rounds a minute. Uh, you're not going to get a lot better on higher penetration guns. So this thing definitely capable of killing stuff. You have the Firefly 5C here, which basically just has higher armor. There's really not any other difference between them. It's 10 more millimeters of frontal armor. It's also a teeny bit slower uh, than the 1C variant, but gun-wise, they're basically the same. This is really not an infantry support Sherman. It only has one machine gun. You're using your regular Sherman 5s, which I have one card of in B here for that role. So it's nice. It's nice for Western armor to actually be able to kill tanks. It is very nice. I will give it that. Um, so yeah, I actually I do enjoy this tank tab. I, I won't deny I did enjoy using this tank tab. Support tab is really sad. Uh, you get a cart of Vickers, which probably should come in the Jeeps. I don't know why I had them coming in the Lloyd carriers here. Uh, cart of Vickers here. Cromwell 6. Th these are fine. I mean, they do okay. It's only 3.4 damage, but they do fire six rounds a minute. They have a 2,000 meter range. So these are really necessary honestly so you can actually take out at guns and stuff at range you really need these guys and you need them early nice thing is you get three as well not two so that's that's nice bedford you could bring sorry you could bring in the two inch mortars but you got to be on top of these and these are the bad two inch mortars with only 540 meter range so eh. no real reason to bring in a commander in this deck you're moving too fast to really take advantage of a lot of veterancy your AT tab, it's basically 6-pounder, 17-pounders, you don't want this Piot, and the Achilles. Now, the thing with the Achilles, um, if this was your only 2K option, it would be great. It, it does actually, it fires faster, it has 8 rounds a minute base, plus 2, so you're actually firing much faster. And the armor is not actually that much worse than a Sherman. But at 95 points, I, I don't know, I just, they're kind of slow. The armor is lower, like they will get penned by everything. And you have the Fireflies in the tank tab. And while the Fireflies are more expensive, I just don't find these necessary. They're very low, very low uh, availability. Um, and I just, I don't, I don't need a mobile, I don't need mobile AT when my tanks do the job. I would much prefer to just have the 17 pounders, which do a little bit better of sitting back and actually defending area I grab. Anti-air, you have good options. You have this mobile 40 mil, which is a Bofors gun on a mobile platform, but the availability is much lower. So, which is why I'm not saying they have no armor, so anything can kill them. You have to be very careful with these. So, I'm just taking regular bow for 40 mils. The Crusader AA Mark IIb is actually really good. It's this tri is very dangerous. Problem is the availability is too really low. Unfortunately, this did not benefit from, like, the availability buff that the SDK of Z71s did. This should, honestly. Like, in my opinion, I don't know why you don't get the 2-4 curve on this. Uh, it really kind of sucks. The Crusader AA is fine, but when you have Bofors instead, I would just take the Bofors. But some people use these in a more aggressive way, like actually use this to like kill infantry and stuff. It's a viable use for them. It's just dangerous. Um, you know, if, if this is your only AA in area, I'm not hopping on the opportunity to drive them out in the open to shoot infantry. But I've seen people do it. I've seen people who are way better than me with first penetration to use them this way. 
artillery wise uh, it's really one option like two options and just in two different forms so you have the 87 the, basically the 25 pounder and then you have the sexton which is a 25 pounder on wheels the nice thing about the sexton is that massive ammo availability of 90 shells so these things can be called in and they can basically sit by themselves for a very very long time and they really should never die because you can just move them anytime they that someone would actually try to counter battery so these can be actually quite good uh normal 25 pounders are are solid i mean they're not amazing but they're solid they fire fast at eight rounds a minute uh don't do a massive amount of damage but they do okay if you can get radio on them yeah they're really really good if you can't find radio with them then they they're underwhelming to say the least then you have the sherman 5 here which is just three machine guns on this thing I, i'm not sure what the gun's even doing there and you get the 140 millimeter off map which is good because you get three call-ins of it so i mean that is good not a fan of course because it's off map but it's pretty necessary for this deck and then you have your air tab which has some only like two options of things either a ground attack bomber or fighter and two good options for those things you get the spitfires right you get basically all the spitfires you could want uh, mustangs really are not good they do not do enough damage and they overshoot their target all the time because of how fast they are so i do not suggest mustangs at all uh the the spitfires do put out some good damage so they can definitely shoot things down they're not amazing they're they're quick and they have really high agility but they will die in any sort of head-on thing so be very careful that's why i have two cards instead of just one and then you have either the Mosquito or the Hurricane for Ground Attack Bomber. The Mosquito, I believe, personally, is definitely the better option. Uh, it's got a higher loadout. It flies faster. It's the same price. I, I don't 100% sure know why you would take the Hurricane. I mean, the Hurricane is technically a fighter, too. But at 385 kilometers an hour, it's never catching anything. And basically, the only way it's fighting something is if it gets head-on. And the Mosquito does the head-on thing exactly the same with four 20 mils and, and along with four more machine guns. So I just don't see a reason. I mean, the availability. I, I should... No, I, the availability is not even there. I don't know why you would take the Hurricane. I'm literally taking the Hurricane here because there's no more Mosquitoes to take. Uh, this one has a, a lower bomb loadout, but the curve is 1-4. And this is just one two so there's not a lot of reason to take the 110 point i mean this will kill anything at bombs anyway this will definitely kill anything at bombs in terms of soft targets not tanks uh this will also kill anything at bombs i mean uh, the bombers are really good i'm not going to deny that but that's all you get there's no at planes there's no heavy bombers there's no clusters there's no anything else this fighter attack bomber that's it so, yeah, that is my build of First Pincherno. I will be the first to admit this is not my kind of deck. This is not my kind of specialty. There are definitely other ways to build this deck, but I think this is a pretty solid rush version of it. you got to push. You, you attack, and then you attack some more, and then you attack some more. You need your Fireflies to kill their armor so that your Cromwells and your Sherman Fives can support your infantry, because your infantry will lose almost every fight that they get into contact with enemy infantry except for this in Zanzi and uh sorry Izanirzi in the woods this guy will do okay the sapper z will do okay in the woods but outside of that your infantry will lose to basically everything so you need your tanks to support your infantry you need your fireflies to kill their tanks so your tanks your lighter tanks can support your infantry successfully that's really what you gotta do then you gotta use your artillery to kill their at and their aa so that their plane your planes can continue to bomb basically their infantry and their other support weapons so your tanks can basically run them down is the general the basic almost the only strategy for this deck hope you guys enjoyed that if you did hit that like button subscribe and consider supporting over on patreon thanks and have a fantastic day <laughs>